Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Diana here. Today we're going to learn how to do this mini album envelope. It actually fits in an, a card envelope. I have a large one here, but it does fit in a 5 by 7 envelope. Okay, so, and you need very little supplies for this. So, for, let me just show you what it looks like. So here you would either add a closure or a ribbon. I'm going to show you later once we're, we're done. But it opens like this, and it has a little pocket here. And then it has a little waterfall. Okay, so you could put a few pictures in here. You can write a little note and tuck it in here. And close it and you mail it to someone. Okay, so for this you're going to need two sheets of scrapbook paper. So as you see here, I use the same design. You can actually use two different designs if you like. One for the outside and then one for the inside. Um, again, two sheets of scrapbook paper. I only have one sided, so if you have double sided, then you really could avoid using um, these pieces here because you'll have a design there, okay? So let's get to it. You're also going to need some scrap, um, you know, some cardstock that you're going to use to make photo mats, okay? So here I have two, which I already picked out, these two patterns. Um, I'm thinking of using this one here for the outside. So now I'm going to give you the measurements that we need. Move this here to the side with my cutter. So for the outside, we're going to need, so we're using the entire 12 inches, okay? So I'm going to use the 12 inches. And you want to make sure if it's directional paper, like I always say, make sure that you see where the direction is going. This is not really directional, so it doesn't matter how I cut it. So what we're going to do here is we're going to cut this. It's going to be six and a half inches, so we need to cut six and a half inches first. Okay, that's going to be to make the cover for the envelope itself. So I will cut here six and a half inches. Move that to the side. And this is our cover. So now I'm going to take my scoreboard. And I'm going to tell you where you have to score it. Okay. So we're going to score at one and a half inches. That's our first line. One and a half inches. Next one is at five and a half inches. Okay. And the last one is going to be at 9 and 5 eighths. So 9 and 5 eighths right here. Okay. Okay, now we're going to turn it over and just fold right where those lines are. Okay. And you see it's already taking shape. So we already have the outside here. So this is going to be the pocket right here. We're going to add the waterfall here and this is going to be your closure okay so now in order to get like I did here I use a corner rounder if you don't have that you can just use your scissor and round that off okay so let me do that now okay, okay so now what we're going to do let me take my scoreboard out of here and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put a little tiny bit of glue right here just to close off my pocket. Oh, that's a lot. There's one little line right here on the edge. And that's going to close off that pocket there. Give it some time to dry. Okay, and then I'll just furnish this down make sure it stays in place okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to cut out our waterfall and again like I said if you're using the, another sheet with the same pattern that's fine I'm going to use the other sheet that I showed just to see how it looks together I'm going to use this sheet here And I'm going to tell you the size of your waterfall. Let me just move this here now to the side. So your waterfall is going to be five and a half inches by three and three quarters. 
So let me cut here three and three quarters first. Okay. And then I'm going to cut five and a half. And you're going to need four of those. Okay, do the same thing here. Three and three quarters. Five, five and a half. We're going to get go back to our scoreboard. As you see here, we have four pieces. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our five and a half inch side and we're going to do half an inch. So we're going to do that to all four. And like I said, see, this is super easy quick project and it makes a really nice gift. Okay, let's move this back to the side here. Okay, now what you're going to do is you're just going to fold that down on all of them. I should have used that side. It's a little bent out of shape there. Okay. Burnish the paper so that it stays Okay, and now, as you see here, this is our pocket. The waterfall is going to go right here, and it fits really nicely there, leaves a little gap on either side. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to put a little bit of glue. You can actually use uh, tape as well, but with the glue, you're allowed to move it just a little bit before it sets. So now we're going to take and put it right here where there's a little gap on both sides and see right here I'm going to move it all the way to the top there okay, okay let's make sure that okay you can use a tool to just burnish it there in place okay open it up if there's glue clean that off and you're going to do that for all of them right below this one and I like the glue because you close it make sure that it, it's even and if it's not you can always come back and move it one you can also if you're using two sheets like I am you could have alternated and that way you have one of each but I think this looks good okay. so there you have it here now if you want to cover this piece here which I always do. You want to take a piece that's four and three quarters by three and three quarters to cover this. So let's cut that out right now. Okay, so let's do a four and three quarters first by three and three quarters. This one we don't have to score. That's gonna go right there. So that way you put it so it touches the bottom here. Okay, same thing as before. Put some glue. Okay. Here, just make sure that it touches the bottom. I just like for it to be covered. Okay. 
Okay, so there we covered the bottom. And now let's see. So we need something to cover here, and then we're gonna cover this flap here. And then we're actually finished, except for decorating and doing some photo mats. So now the piece that we're gonna need here is, <coughs> excuse me, it's gonna be a little bit less than six and a quarter by three inches, because we don't need it to go all the way down because this is already here. So it's just so it, we tuck it in a little bit. Um, I think I'm actually gonna put the same paper. So let me cut this one. I'm liking the look of this with this paper in the end. Okay, so let's see here. Six, okay. Six and a quarter. So I'm just gonna do it a little bit. You know what? Six and one eighth. I'm gonna do here. And then I'm gonna do here my three inches. Let's see how that's gonna look in there. I think that looks good. Okay, and the only reason that it's a little bit less is because we glued this on the sides. So I don't want it, see, it's not gonna go all the way to the end. I don't want you to try to shove a piece in there and take out your, your pocket. Okay, so I think that's good there. And we're gonna do exactly the same thing. Let's glue it in there. Some glue. Okay. And then we're, as you saw me before when I was trying it out, we're going to tuck it in there just very, very little, just a little bit. Oh, let's make sure that it moves. Okay. And here we are. So I have that. Now the piece that's going to go up here is going to be six and a quarter by two and a quarter. Okay, so now for this one here, I don't think I have any of the other sheet left, so I'm going to use this one here. So with that said, six and a quarter by two and a quarter. Let me see, so six and a quarter, and this is six. Oh, let's see. So we're going to do six and a quarter. Oh, I just realized I didn't have this all the way out. So the bottom piece could probably be just a little bit bigger, but it's okay, two and a quarter. Okay, let's see, yes. Okay, so now I'm going to take my corner rounder and I'm going to do exactly the same thing I did. Okay, and now we're going to put some glue okay and we're going to make sure we attach it and see what I'm doing So there you have it. it looks like this but now I'm gonna leave it there I'm gonna show you what to do with the inside so for here I'm gonna do some photo mats and the way that I do mine is I put a photo mat in the first one and a photo mat in the th on the third one but I'm gonna go back to the other one that I have and that's what we're gonna do this one I'll finish it later on but as you see this is quick and easy to make okay so now let's get back to this one that I made here, okay? So now, you're gonna take cardstock, any color, of course, it depends on the design you're using, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna make some photo mats. Your photo mats are gonna be four and three quarters by three and a half. And of course, I already have some done. So, it's gonna fit just like this. Okay, so I'm gonna glue that down, and again, like I said, the first one, and then I'm gonna do on the third one, okay? You could do a photo map for each of the pages. I mean, it's totally up to you. Like I said, I just wanna show you the process and how to do it. And then of course, you guys get to play. And you get to create something beautiful. You can put the pictures yourself, like I said. You can write a note, you can send it to someone. Say you went on a vacation and you want them to share pictures. 
because I don't know if you've seen my other videos, but I always say sometimes you have pictures stored on your computer, your cell phones, and you're scrolling for a very long time and you don't find the picture that you're looking for. So at least these are small projects and they're small that they could fit anywhere. You, like I said, you put them in an envelope, somebody can put it in their drawer, you know, somebody mentions your vacation or anything else, oh, let me go get it, you know, and you have a few pictures there. Okay, so there you have that. Again, the size for these photo mats here, four and three quarters by three and a half. I'll put everything on my blog as well. Um, and then here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a photo mat. So this one here is, let's see what size I, I did. This one I cut here. It is five and three quarters by three and three quarters. So five and three quarters by three and three quarters. And that is the one that I'm gonna fit here. Here. okay so very very simple okay and then the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to stamp if I'm gonna give this away as a gift I want them to know what it's for so I'm gonna click here and now let's see where my stamp went it's right here and now again this little stamp I got at Michael's I believe it's two dollars for a pack of four something of vacation um, but I only took it for the little camera which I love Okay, so what you want to do is just put a little picture there, a little camera there, and it tells the person that you're giving it to that it's meant for pictures. Okay, and one there. So there you have that. And then, I just got a few little things here to show you how quick it is to decorate. Of course, I mean, you can put a lot more decorations unless I mean it's totally up to you after I'm done with the video I will see if it needs anything else and I will add to it and I will put it on my Instagram so make sure to follow me on Instagram so here every day is an adventure okay then I have here because of course this reminds me of tropical and put this one here and I got this from the paper pad itself but you can use stickers you know cutouts from a magazine anything you find to to decorate okay then here when you close it I wanted to put see how it's coming along it's coming together so fast vacation dreaming I have to go on a vacation so I am dreaming of vacation okay so we have that there then I found these little stickers which actually have the same leaf they're like a foil um, very pretty sticker dimensional uh, let's see I don't know if I'm gonna put you know what I'm gonna put this flower here I like Okay, and then here we have a watermelon, an orange, a lemon, and a strawberry. So maybe I will put, if not a watermelon, a pineapple. Let's see how that looks. Oh, I think I'll put both. Oh, I think that looks super cute. Okay, so there we have that. And then here, should I put a, you know what, I'm going to put a leaf. And I think I'll put the other one on the other side. Just for. Oh, I love that. See, isn't that so cute? And it's so simple. That was just like a few minutes. And it's so beautiful. Okay, so this is your photo mat. And you have here your waterfall. Again, you could put mats, photo mats on all of them. And then here on the back as well, you could just put a photo mat with the little stamp and they'll know what it's for okay and then for closure like I said I like to close my things with these um, velcro dots I, I get them you could get them on Amazon or you could get them at Dollar Tree so that I mean I'm going to show you with this one I'm going to put this but then I'm going to show you you can use also just a ribbon closure 
So I'll put this here. Well, you know what? I'm gonna put it right here where okay, I can see it there. Okay, beautiful. So see, that would be one way of closing it. And then like I said, you can put it in an envelope, a much smaller envelope, of course, five by seven, but you can mail it out. So here's one closure, right? So if you didn't have a closure at all, you can do an um, eyelet, you can put ribbon through the eyelet, but just so you don't have to go through a lot of things, you can take some ribbon. And let's say I didn't have that closure on there. And you can just take a piece of ribbon and make yourself a little bow. And cut it off and doesn't that look adorable? Let me get a scissor. See that? I think that is a perfect gift right there. All packaged and ready to go. So let me know what you guys think. I hope you like this video tutorial. Uh, leave me a comment below. Make sure that you subscribe and I'll see you soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.